Hey everyone, this is Tadai Ma. The four of us are back here again to give you a little bit of an update on the Tokui hashtag, the tax incident, if you will. Um, mm. For those of you who don't know, the long and short of it is that Tokui has been caught not paying his taxes for the past roughly seven years. Um, and he's he's been penalized for it. And now it's come out that he will be ceasing all entertainment industry obligations that he has for the time being to <sighs> sort of... I guess reflect on himself which may be just a nice way of saying he's taking the punishment the social punishment of the mm. crime he has done damn yeah, yeah exactly i think it's more than anything like you said robert a, a social punishment i think that it's one of those things where he needs to just kind of play it quiet for a while and let things cool down around this whole situation um and then when the time is right maybe he'll come back out again but Basically, what we're getting around to saying is that this probably means he won't be on Terrace House anymore, at least not for a really long time, if at all. It uh, it 100% means that. And yeah. so this is all happening so fast. This is like a whirlwind past 48 hours for people paying attention to Terrace House because, you know, the news was announced Wednesday, Thursday last week. Uh, you know, it's Saturday now, the, the time we're recording this. And so we where we left the last episode, we weren't sure what was going to happen. It was too soon to tell. And now Tokui has come out publicly said he's going to cease all performance arts activities, including Terrace House, for the time being. And it is really heartbreaking to me. Um, honestly, like the show will never be exactly the same going forward. Our worst fears are realized. But like we said, this is a really big deal in Japan. This is not a small thing. And kind of my worst fears are realized here. I mean, it sounds like he is kind of be kind of going to be going away for a while and he might bounce back. But I think we have sadly seen our last appearance of Tokui on Terrace House and it breaks my heart. Yeah. And what's scary about it, too, right, is that right now this news really sucks, but we still have at least for our show, we have at least 12, 16 more episodes Mm -hmm. of terrace house to catch up to where toku is going to be there this is all fine and dandy because yeah. where there the show is at right now in japan i believe episode 20 just came out at the time of this recording of uh, tokyo 2020 mm -hmm. okay so yeah. that means at least by episode 21 that's going to be the first brand new episode of terrace house where everyone knows about this Oof. yeah which will incident. bring us past the halfway point of part two Mm -hmm. Right. And as we, as we were speculating before in our last episode, too, I wonder if they they're going to have to acknowledge it. Right. I mean, they're going to acknowledge it on the show. Right. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's to. a huge absence. Yeah. I mean, we, we went into a lot of detail about it in our uh, last episode about this, which you should definitely watch if you want the quick and dirty details. But I mean, the fact that they had to, like, acknowledge that Yama had gotten married and that people were just concerned that he wouldn't be as sassy anymore. Mm, right. Like, they're definitely not going to just conveniently sidestep this. They're definitely going to have some kind of apology or explanation or some kind of... There's, they're going to spend a little bit of time at the beginning of one of these episodes and it's going to be... It's going to be rough. It, it I think could be it's going to be really yeah. rough. Could be the beginning or could be the end of one, too. I mean, it is going to be, oh, they like, have to address it. They can't just ignore it and sweep it under the rug. But oh my gosh. Um, someone made the joke on Reddit. I try not to travail Reddit too much because, again, I'm trying to stay spoiler free for everything. And, you know, we're on a different schedule as they are. So um, I did, though, catch the like four in the morning or whatever it was, Central Standard Time. Um, I did catch the post. And um, I read some of the comments and people were like, is this going to be like when Armand broke the law? <laughs> just put like the statue up <laughs> on the screen <laughs> and just read it like this is the tax law. This is what I did. And Tokui is gone now. Yeah, and per tax law subclause 4 a Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, Remember are you right? when Armand got, got, got the skateboarding accident, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 dude. yeah. So it's just really <laughs> rough, man. And I this is pure speculation. But I mean, I, I was worried this was going to happen. I just think that they gave him the option. They said hmm. either you can resign from everything, his his company, or they said, or you will be summarily fired. And he was like, well, oh. honor is a big deal in Japan. And, you know, and so he just maybe was given that option. Just just my thought, because yeah. it's full sweeping. I mean, he's going to not do anything now for a long time. He's probably going to move. It's really bad, man. It's really sucks. Yeah, to, to give a little background to that, too, in that this statement came directly from the company he works for, the entertainment company he works for, Yoshimoto Kogyo. So this isn't 
necessarily mm. Tokui coming from him, the person, mm -hmm. but more the the business that he works under, right? Mm -hmm. And I yeah. remember when the story first broke, at least when we read uh, read up on Mainichi, right? There is there's a quote there. He says at the end. Quote, this is my only job, so I wish to keep on working as a comedian, but I believe it's up to the rest of the public and those who offer me work to decide. So this definitely comes off as a decision probably made from a uh, power higher than Tokui perhaps has. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. here in the Nari Nari article, like his, his own statement was just that this time I was very sorry for the inconvenience and distrust of the people and people involved in my tax issues in the future. I would like to refrain from performing arts activities. For now, I would like to re-examine my awareness of tax payment, my work, myself, and also myself, which probably was Google Translate being weird but <laughs> also yeah, his myself self. and also myself allow My myself self. to introduce myself <laughs> to tokui and his <sighs> evil twin bro brother iukot <gasps> Dude. can we blame him can we blame the evil <laughs> twin for this Jeez. Uh, mm. so i i the the bigger question is too are, are they gonna go so after they acknowledge this this his absence are they gonna go as far as to replace him eventually or are they gonna they... leave the state the the position open out of respect they should watch our episode about american terrace house oh my gosh. and pull <laughs> someone <Lord>. in <laughs> do it now, if you haven't listened to that go listen to that podcast. introducing our new member of the panel pro zd <laughs> oh my gosh no but he another comment i read on the on the subreddit about this was that you know, he is one of the big three. It's Tokui. Really, when you think about who the commentators are, it's Tokui, you, and Yamachan. And the, they yep. were kind of saying the other three are kind of there just to kind of nod along, which is kind of harsh. I don't necessarily agree with that necessarily, but it's kind of true. You know, the, Tokui was more than one-sixth of the show. You know, we talked yeah. about that last episode. So his absence is going to be thoroughly felt. It's going to be impossible to replace him but and and maybe they don't. Maybe that's the right move. Maybe oh. like you said, Daily. Maybe um, Baba Zona just has more of a role here, and maybe the people that are left need to pick it up some. So here's that the interesting might be the thing. only option. Here's something interesting about the way Japanese culture tends to do stuff, right? So I could see this going two ways. One, I could see them replacing him, right? Because mm -hmm. as as much as we as Terrace House fans love Tokui, he's one of many so 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 many tarandos mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. work on so many different panels on so many different variety shows right like right, right. as good as he is he is sort of kind of a dime a dozen in that i'm sure they could find someone to replace him it may not be the same but after a while maybe we'll be like oh i like this new guy right right but at the same time i don't know if you guys know this but this is maybe this is uh, something that happens in the voice acting industry in japan but when a say you when a japanese voice actor dies like in real life when they die they do what they can for whatever shows they're working on to not have that character be voiced anymore like it's considered stomping on the graves of that person for mm to replace them which gotcha. is why in kingdom hearts 3 for example we, they we didn't hear a voice line from phil from the hercules world because the voice actor in japan died this reminds me too of uncle iroh oh isn't mm -hmm. it on avatar that oh was one yeah this episodes ever don't want to talk so, about it so like of course tokui isn't dead of course right we know he's still well, alive okay but, so that's true but for the intents and purposes of terrace house i don't know i don't think we're ever going to see him again so right he's Never? not dead I don't think so. Hmm. I hate I don't to know. be the Do guy. Do you think but... maybe like like because we don't know how long, even though we have the time range, we don't know exactly how long that Tokyo 2019 2020 is going to go for, right? Mm -hmm. We're we're not sure like when that end date is. Maybe the next. Do you think that if it went on long enough, there was enough time put in between this incident and the next season that maybe the next series? he would be on listen japan is so brutal when it comes to this stuff and i want him back just like anybody else does but i just get the feeling this is him getting sent away getting put to pasture getting put on the shelf so to speak and he won't get fired yeah. he'll receive an income but i just think his Toronto days are uh going to be on a, a long hiatus like a number of years but he will bounce back with something else you know but i'm just talking about terrace house 
I don't know, know Terrace yes. House. Yeah, I just don't think it's going to be Terrace House. And oh, I hate it. I mean, he could have don't, don't he could have very well that. ruined that relationship. Um I'm I'm cut, part of me is low key hoping that the first episode without Tokui they cut to the panel and Tokui is just there but in cardboard cutout form. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Too soon, no, dude. I feel Too like soon. That would be so really? mean. <laughs> Too soon. Oh man. No, I mean, you... but here what here they... is the question though. Like like how are they going to acknowledge? I mean, we we kind of went over, but like do you think that it's going to be him saying sayonara or is it going to be like Tori Chan having to read something off? No, he's already done his last show. He's so already he's it's already happened. So he didn't know he it was going to be his last show when he did it. So I think it could even be as callous as fade to black on his last show and then just a big text block. Like he's dead. Like a white, a big white. No, Jesus. not that, but like a big white text block, like explaining that what happened and why you're not going to see him again. Uh, it could be something me. like that. Dang. You know, but it, but he, like hardcore. I said, his last show has already been done, and no one knew it was going to be his last show at that time. Well, I remember this. I think this was back in Boys and Girls in the City, and I only noticed this uh, during our rewatch because, you know, I, I, when it, it was my first time watching New Girls, Boys and Girls in the City way back when. And now that I'm, I'm more invested in Terrace House and know a lot more, I think is maybe around episode like I want to say 14 through 18. At the end of one of those episodes, they did something similar where they faded to black and said something along the lines of like in memory of um mm -hmm. i forget the name of the guy who died in the first season which people are gonna yeah. hate me for but also i've never seen the first season yeah don't hate um, on him yes but but nonetheless that's that's how they did it it wasn't even the panelists saying anything about him like oh rest in peace or anything it was just fade to black yeah you know there it is that's why i say like he died because like right you know the memorial <laughs> episodes that's that's usually how it goes like in memory of so, so and so yeah I, I think you know we need to also just kind of transition this conversation to like how are we going to move forward with this too you know because this we can't ignore it like we have a lot of terrace house to watch left a lot left to spoil and talk about and Tokyo's going to be there so we need to enjoy the time we have with them we know it's finite we need to still do our show you know and so i'm going to enjoy it i'm going to enjoy every moment i get with them you know right. it's a gift so god it's going to uh, suck because it you know i i'm sure in the next ep few episodes we're going to watch it's going to be tokui has something smart ass to say or something some some great metaphor or analogy and yeah. we're just gonna be like sad it's gonna be sadness it's let's, gonna be rough let's but try again, not to be yeah, like constantly yeah. like yeah mourning you know, same, him <laughs> right you know at the same time we i i personally myself i'm gonna try and compartmentalize the information a little bit just to have fun and still enjoy terrace house because terrace house is a really fun awesome mm -hmm. show and I and I watch it to have a good time. I watch it to laugh. I watch it so that I can talk with you guys, and so I can, uh, you know, uh, conversate with the community online about it. And so I don't want that to change, you know. So yeah. I want to keep a positive outlook on it. And whoever, if they do get someone that replaces them, that's going to be a really tough seat to sit in for them, you know. But I also, if they get somebody, I want to welcome them with open arms. I don't want to be too harsh on them, you know. Again, they're they have an impossible task and replacing him if that happens so i want to be kind to that person too and so yeah. that's kind of my attitude going forward with the whole thing yeah mm -hmm. i wonder if uh japanese fans of terrace house are already sort of speculating or maybe throwing out ideas of who they could get to replace him uh I i'm if assuming would, if they do get someone to replace is. him it's going to be someone who's deeply involved in in the comedy scene and in, in japan in some way shape or form when they I, I bring mean, special guests in yeah it's always a good time yeah. isn't it they have the baseball player and they have yeah. uh, the guy from one piece was in for a number of episodes. No, I don't think that was. No, the they, they mentioned that he's a not. fan. Yeah. Uh, okay. He he was so, another yeah. comedian. Got it. So um, I'm, you know, but also they might not get anybody. And that might be the best move for chemistry. Yeah. I don't know. It's something I think we're just going to have to see as it unfolds. But I, mm -hmm. so one of the things I really like about Terrace House is that I always see it as an escape from reality because the real world sort of is rough Escape but this reality. weird this weird little diorama that terrace house has created where we watch six people just have fun with life like and yeah. watch six other people rag on them i guess maybe now five yeah. you know mm -hmm. it's it's still fun and i still want the show and by extension our show to be an escape from the harshness of reality and just kind of like have fun you yeah. know yeah so as as yeah. much as 
this sucks and as much as we hate talking about the seriousness of the situation yeah we we need to also you know be able to move forward and enjoy what we have yeah right. the show goes on people as long as Terrace House goes so on, still going. yes, yes yep. Terrace exactly. House goes on. You know, we we celebrate the man. Um, but again, you know, I, I will say I don't want to end on a downer, but like I do, he he has no one to blame but himself for this. He's fully yes. responsible for it. He made his own bed. He has mm. to lay in it now. Yeah, and I mean, so he needs, he's just, taking responsibility for it. Yeah, and he is. So mm. you know, we uh, just need to just move on to the next thing. And unfortunately, it's without Tokui. Yeah. Sayonara, Tokui kun. Yeah. Now, now we're going to go off and record the next episode of our usual show, and we're excited because we've seen it, and oh my god. Get hype, because Tuesday's going to be a wild <laughs> fucking day. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> look for, please ready, look forward y'all. to it. Yes. Mm. Please look forward to our usual ramblings about Terrace House. Uh, we're going to close it off here. Yeah, we don't want to dwell on this too much, but we figured an update from us would be worth doing. Uh, so tune in on Tuesday for us uh, and our coverage on, what is it, episode 8? Yep, Passive episode Boys. Episode 8's podcast. Oh. Let's Passive go. Boys. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. We hope you enjoyed our show. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to ding that bell to receive notifications when we publish brand new content. Follow us on social media and check out our brand new Discord server, linked in the description below.